Hello everyone, Matt V's Movies back for another video and today we're looking at the fourth film in the Resident Evil franchise, Afterlife. Just before we take a closer look at this edition and I'll sort of give you a little bit of a uh, facts um, figures about the film. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be informed when I upload a new video. Please also follow me on Instagram. Please comment if you wish so. Uh, do try to reply to all comments and greatly appreciated. And also please give the video a thumbs up and share if you can. Resident Evil Afterlife came out in 2010 and it was rated a 15 certificate. It ran for one hour and 40 minutes. Just to give you um, a brief summary of the film, Alice leads a group of survivors to Arcadia, a safe haven somewhere in Alaska. Once there, they learn that the place is being used as a trap to lure more survivors and infect them with the T-virus. The release date of the film in the UK was the 10th of September 2010 and this time it was directed by Paul W. Anderson. Music was by Tamandi and the box office for this one was 300.2 million US dollars. Okay, so this was a still book again of the same pop art series that came out. This, this version came out in the UK as well as other territories and here we've got another character which featured in the um, Resident Evil games and this guy sort of held this axe and uh, yeah he was really impressive in the film um, I really like that character so again this is a matte finish um, and it's all kind of in this brown sort of um, design um, and then if we turn it over again, very similar to the others, you just got like the, the background without the character and the signature. Open it up and now I've actually put in the uh, 3D disc which contains the 3D version and the 2D version. Originally when this came out it would have just had the standard 2D version but I swapped it out um, because I have the capability of 3D. And this was the first of the Resident Evil films to be shown in 3D. Um, it was done about the time when Avatar had just come out and uh, there was a real big buzz with 3D. Um, you know, it was very popular and um, and I, I absolutely loved this in 3D. I thought it was fantastic. Um, obviously seeing the previous three films um, in 2D. And then coming along to this one, it just kind of gave it a whole new experience for me anyway. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed it. And again, there's a particular scene with this guy when he's facing off Alice, which is <coughs> all in um, this sort of shower room where all the sprinklers come on and, and the rain is really good in 3D. Um, and obviously when he's spinning his axe around, it's, you know, there's a few pop out moments, which are really cool. And again, with this one, no inside artwork, um, just a plain sort of browny colour to it. And the artwork sort of only goes at the front there and on the bottom, just on there. And there's the spine as well. And again, just that project pop art. You've got all the tech specs on the back. And again, another wonderful release from Sony. Um, and as I say, with, with with this disc, it's you have the option to select either the 2D or the 3D, which is really nice. <clears throat> and uh, as I say, I really, yeah, for me, this was a fantastic entry um, into the franchise. I really did enjoy this film. And starring in this film, Mila Jolovich as Alice. Ali Carter returning as Claire Redfield, Wentworth Miller, 
Chris Redfield. Now, again, Chris Redfield is another character from the um, Resident Evil games um, that came out. So, and he is the brother of Claire Redfield. So it was really nice to see him come into the uh, to the franchise. Sean Roberts as Albert Wesker. And again, this is another pivotal character from the um, from the computer games. And uh, Albert Wesker is obviously the sort of, well, shall we say the sort of kind of like the leader, I suppose, of Umbrella almost. He will becomes the leader of Umbrella. Um, so, yeah, he's a great character uh, that's featured in the games. Uh, very formidable um, Boris Kojo as Luther West. Now, he was quite um, quite a good character in the film. Quite enjoyed his performance. And Kmart, Spencer Locke. Uh, now, she was actually featured in the <clears throat> previous film, Extinction. And Kim Coates as Bennett. Now, he kind of comes across as the... Uh, well, he's like a movie producer and uh you know he's kind of a kind of a slimy character really and uh, kind of sides with uh with uh, wesker so yeah overall a really enjoyable film in my opinion um i did think this was uh, one of the sort of stronger ones in this in the series just in my personal opinion and uh at the end of this series of um videos i will be doing a sort of a ranking of all six films um and just putting them in in the order that i i like them um and obviously this is just my opinion it's you know i'm sure other people that like this franchise will have their own opinion but um you know that that would just be something just to kind of round off this uh series of videos Okay guys, well thanks very much for watching the video, take care and see you in the next one, bye now.